guessing there's more than one doctor in town that's told somebody to do this. Fire investigator Rick Fryer is testing a theory. Can a cotton towel heated in the microwave start a fire? In my five years, we've never, I've never seen one of those. That was until yesterday when he saw it twice. The resident of this house on East Main told investigators he had a sore shoulder, so he warmed up a towel in the microwave to ease the pain. He put it in for one minute, but set it outside because it smelled funny. Eight hours later, the towel set the back deck on fire. And this is all that's left of a towel an elderly woman put in the microwave to heat a sore back. She put the fire out in the sink before it caught her house on fire. Having two in 12 hours was, was something like, it's like, well, something might be up. Let's go try it out. So here we are today. Fryer started his test with a wet towel. After more than six minutes in the microwave, it steamed, but didn't catch fire. We're going to go with a dry towel in the center with it being damp on the outside. In the second test, the center of the damp towel started to burn after just three minutes. As you can see, it's smoking real good here. After five minutes, the internal temp was 600 degrees. Put a dry towel in or a towel that's only wet on the surface into a microwave and you turn it on. Um, this is what you're going to get on the inside. Finally, Fryer tried a dry towel. Two minutes, 30 seconds for this one. He took it out and the dry towel kept smoldering for 15 minutes. So we proved a theory today, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with what's going on. Hopefully the people out there realize you can't put anything dry in a microwave. And after about 20 minutes, we set a paper towel on top. And with a little wind, well, it, takes a little ventilation. it caught fire, just like the deck did yesterday. The big thing here today is, you know, if the doctor's telling you to put a uh, warm compress and he tells you to use the microwave, make sure the towel's wet all the way through. Fryer says his job is to determine how fires start, but it's also to prevent them through education. I feel good about the test today. In Spokane Valley, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.